Hey guys, midway through the card Captain Sakura clear card hand season, we're on episode 13 now with a new opening and a new ending. Before talking about the episode itself, there's not much to say, but I loved the new opening. I really loved the Queen of Hearts theme, so more of like an Alice thing. And I feel like the opening had lots of roses instead of Sakuras, so maybe this is more like like of um, an allegory of Sakura's difference in tone that the series might be getting from from now on. I don't know, but it seems that like, maybe you know this coming of age to Sakura. I mean, not coming of age, but she's growing, right? She's not really growing, but um, she, there might be something. Some things might happen, and uh, because of that, I I feel like she she's gonna grow more mature. And then we have this change of petals to represent that. Uh, the, the ending was very cute. I really liked it. And I loved seeing Keto and Spinel. But the ending brought us a little bit of spoilers. Because the opening brought us spoilers by showing Akiho and Yuna. And also Momo, who is Akiho's uh, stuffed animal. But then we saw Momo acting. So we saw Momo, you know, being active. And so we know she's not a stuffed animal anymore, but the ending really showed us that way in a way more clear way. Sorry. Uh, we could see that Momo is actually going to be a magical being. And I like that because she seems to be like the Hime-sama. And I don't know, she might have the Ojo-sama laugh. If she has the Ojo-sama laugh, she got me. She got me. I already love Akiho. I think Akiho is... The most interesting thing about clear cards so far and I love Yuna as well I love their relationships and Yuna's hiding something I'm sure of it but I think that Momo going there is going to just bring it on even more and they're gonna be the best thing on clear card ever and I'm sure of that if Momo turns out to be this great Ojo Sama type of mascot and so uh, talking about the episode itself the plot of this episode was basically Meiling coming back from Hong Kong. She was going to visit and she stayed on Sakura's house. Meiling is not a character that I like. I particularly disliked her in the original series, but I, I was really anxious to see her coming back because her personality brings something that Clear Card is missing. And I wasn't really happy with her. You know, there wasn't much going on. And, you know, I feel like the dragging problems in this episode was, were pretty strong. And there was something in this episode that irritates me to no end the clear card is using a lot. Which was when Toya was talking to Yukito and, uh, or to Yue, I think it was with Yue, uh, what he said was with Yue, um, was that, like, there's something going on, that it's very serious, but I'm waiting for the right moment to tell you. Toya said it, Ariel said it, Shaolin said it. Sorry, I almost said it. Stop, okay? The right time is now. You lost the right time. The right time was like six, seven episodes ago. And now I, I just hate it. You know, if you guys just said it right back at the beginning, Clear Card must have had more, more going on, <laughs> you know? Stop it, damn it. Uh, and then, uh, there were some nice scenes with meaning. One of them was when she was talking to Sakura's father on the phone. She transformed into another person completely. Girl, that's a great ability to have. And her interactions with Kato were also very funny. They were very nice. I really liked it. Uh, and so we had, like, their girls chatting about their hair. The girls chatting about school. The girls chatting about Shaoran. And I feel like the when they were talking about Shaoran, it was nice because it added a little more depth to his character and I felt a little bit more sympathetic towards him in Clear Card because I was really uh, not liking him in Clear Card so far. And now I can understand him a little bit better, you know, because he's very, he's probably very lonely and he's probably here on a mission. He's probably not here just because of Sakura, but because there is something else going on with her. Uh, there's something else going on with the magic in the city and 
We don't really know what's going on, but uh, I don't know. I mean, probably the manga readers know, but I feel like uh, Shaonan is now someone that I can understand a little bit better after what Sakura talked to Meiling about him, and that's a good thing. That that that's that was something that Shaonan was missing as a character, you know, and I liked that. It was really something that was the series was asking for, and apart from that, I feel like. Um, Nothing, nothing more to comment on. Uh, we had another cooking scene, Kira Kira Precure influence right there. Uh, we had another cooking scene that felt longer than intended, than needed. And then uh, we had a tie into the next episode, which was meeting with cat ears and a cat tail. That was funny. Clear card is almost never funny, but that was very funny. I really loved seeing that. And I don't know, I think that episode, next episode might be very interesting. I don't know if it's going to be a filler or not, but I feel like the next episode is going to be very interesting with some um, Alice in Wonderland references right there. And it seems that this Alice reference, those Alice F references are there for a reason and that they're probably tied to uh, Akiho's book. Because Akiho is reading a book right now and it seems that it has some Alice influences right there. We saw Akiho at the end of the episode and I feel like Akiho should appear more and more. Because when she appears, things are good. When she appears, things... I mean, things are not walking ahead, but I feel like when Akiho's there, it, it seems that the writers love her. Because when she's there, they try to write better dialogues, they try to write better situations. At least that's what I feel. So that's all I wanted to say about episode 13. I'm very excited. I think that now things are gonna get in motion. I hope they get in motion fast. Guys, thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye bye!